at Hollywood Studios again today for Star Wars Weekend's Day 2. And we got Ahmed Best Fast Passes for autographs this afternoon. In the meantime, we're going to walk around a bit and see what's going on. positive, we were able to walk up to Sci-Fi Diner and get into the sold-out character breakfast for Star Wars. Which is pretty cool. Because it's been sold out for the last couple of weeks. And we just checked in the front and guest services told us completely sold out. Continue to just walk in anyway and double check. And we're going to go in there in about 15 minutes. Look at these pastries. Or what you can see of them. And what's left of them. Because we already ate two of them so far. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're headed over to Tower of Terror now. Fast passes. Best day ever. So cool looking. Look at that sky. It does not suck to live in Florida. <laughs> Every night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. <laughs> that door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you.
Jackpot Tour. Because we haven't done this in about eight years. And it's all coming back to me now why we haven't done it in eight years. But we're going to take a look at it. a special demolition derby makeover. Those dents and dings were added on purpose, but he can be polished up and look <laughs> new for his next starring role. On our right, we now have a very different view of the fishing village set. From this point of view, you can see that there is no inside of the building. So, they are just false fronts or facades. In the movie business, set builders only create what the camera so has to, to see. see it's an old movie trick dating all the way back to the silent era. No to add to the sense of realism and avoid the cost of set building, many of today's Although, television I'm shows and movies film on location, location in cities and towns. My heart will go on, Jack. The jets, the sharks, Star Wars weekend. Superman's key. Vicky Hey, where's the rabbit? There's no rabbit, but there is life, hey? This is the rabbit's jacket for late mode. Star Wars. The War of the Stars. The host. People have to green up a bit. What's Green's father? What's Green's sister? <laughs> what would you think if you got that as a gift? I think I might use it as a weapon to hit my brother. I kind of feel like Disney should have rooms with just like air conditioning and couches. Just like a lot of couches and air conditioning. So people can just relax. Because this park can be real, like most theme parks. So, you fear? And who's here? We're gonna go on Star Tours again. Yay! So we went and met our man West, who plays Jar Jar Binks in uh, the Creeper Trilogy. And we had some overpriced pizza at Pizza Planet. And now we are online for Stars of the Saga, which is the talk show with the celebrities that are here this weekend. So uh, I believe it's hosted by James Arnold Taylor, but they'll have Peter Mayhew and Online Best inside talking shop about Star Wars. Disney is doing it again. We're in the fast pass line. They just started scanning the fast passes. And the non 
uh, fast pass standby people are getting in before the fast pass people. Something wrong with that.
make it so much fun. It is a great, great time. And we have a great, great time for you right now because it's Star Wars. It's Star Wars Weekend and Disney. Perfect combination, okay? Yes? Well, you know, we have some fantastic guests here today on the Stars of the Saga. And uh, we have Jar Jar Binks himself, Abed Best. We have Chewbacca himself, Peter Mayhew. But we have somebody else that wanted to give you a little message. So take a look at the screens. I'm in London working on the new Star Wars movie, uh, otherwise I'd be there with you today. I can't tell you what a thrill it's been over the past year working with this incredible team, uh, helping build these worlds, creatures, costumes, designs, seeing everything come to life. I uh, cannot wait for you to see it. So I'm sorry I can't be there with you at Star Wars weekend, but I've had a great time. Thank you for the first movie. Oh, don't you wish you were flying the wall? <laughs> All right, hey, let's bring out the first guest. What do you say? All right, my first guest is a multi-talented performer. He's an actor, he's a musician, he's a writer, he's a director. And he's also known for a very, very famous character in the prequels of Star Wars. Take a look. And as you can see, that's a very revealing cat suit. <laughs> and it was extremely embarrassing. And yeah. Rob Coleman, who runs Animal Logic right now. And here you are, and you're like, yeah, okay, but I'm going to be in Star Wars. So. Yeah, and then here I am, a kid from the South Bronx, going to yeah. be in Star Wars. Wow. And so, and so then you get it, and then there's the voice. Yeah, the voice was a. I got the voice much later. At okay. first, I was supposed to be the um, just the movements of everything, and they were looking to cast the voice, and they couldn't find anyone. George couldn't find anyone, and I told um, George on set, I was like, Hey, you know what? I kind of do voices because yeah. I've been doing voices. Yeah. Uh, and I've done jingles and commercials in New York. Yeah. So he was like, All right, give me some voices. So I gave I gave him like five. Okay. And the one that became George is the one he liked. Wow. And so like any other ones are like, are you talking to me? You know, what's it? Uh, well, it's, I, yeah. And we see and we know so much now that it's digital, but it was you before it was digital. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> All those movements are you. Yeah, I did a lot of uh, pulling myself up and falling, falling off of things, and looking at a little Jake Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> and then you come back for episodes two and three, but in two, I don't know if everybody knows this, you're in episode two, not as Jar Jar. I'm in episode two as me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's right a character that. named Ahmed Beck. Oh. And it's actually, if you go on Instagram at best Ahmed, Ahmed yeah. Beck, yeah. I have an action figure of Ahmed Beck that really? he's taken over my Instagram. Like, if you look at all, everything on my Instagram is him doing stuff. Oh, that's He needs his own series. Yeah. And so, what happened was Anthony Beck treated him, and she said, You better have a look at the other one. Looked at the other one in the direct track, and there's no cartridge left. Oh, yeah. It's bone on bone. See, I couldn't do that. That's that's crazy. So, so they decided, let's put these in. But you can't just go out off the shelf and get a Peter Mayhew. Did no, you? oh no. We had to. You know, the average knee is about four or five. Okay. Right size wise. Yeah. Mine are eleven. Oh. 
As I like to say, oh. this one goes to 11. <laughs> 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 so, yep, yeah. uh, we did an eight-hour operation, That's and we've been working almost for a year, trying to get back into uh, fitness. Fitness and to uh, get back into a costume, because, uh, you know, we had uh, some news break. A, I think there's a coffee, uh, costume coming up somewhere. There, there was some news that broke a couple weeks ago. I don't know if anybody heard about this. Yes. Anybody hear about it? There's a picture that they released as well. Yeah, you are the only one reading, actually, taking the time to read the script. Okay, Mark Hamill, and, and there, do we have the names up there, right? If you can see, yeah, there's everybody, okay? So there's Mark Hamill and Anthony Daniels, and they're just talking about what they're going to get for lunch later. Yeah. But um, here's a guy, I'm actually going to read this script. Yeah, only because Gary wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> Chair. Uh, so, yeah. This is fantastic. Now, what's that? He is. Wow. Was it That's amazing? a long time ago. <laughs> in, a, in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> was it amazing though to get back in the room with everybody? Was it? Yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah. You know, people that we haven't seen for a number of years, especially Harrison. Yeah. We see Mark and Kerry at uh, conventions. Yeah, conventions but, such, but... but Harrison is a bit of a twitch. It's <laughs> very... <laughs> but we're okay, that is good to see you here. Yeah. Mr. Ford, would you mind speaking up, please? Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, what was it? So, yep. So, very, very cool. Now, and you're on social media quite a bit. Both of you are on social media. I'm at uh, social media, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook. We've had an incredibly tiring day. We went back to see Ahmad Best and did walk up. Um, we got to see. DJ Lobot for a little bit and talk talk a little bit. And he's gonna be doing his dance party thing now. So then you'll probably see a little bit of the dance party and possibly get out of here a little bit. Yikes, we've been here for uh, about over 17 hours now I think. After about 18 hours or so, I'm going to head home and get some sleep. And for the last two days, we've got about, or I've got about, um, four and a half hours of sleep. So, I'm exhausted. Um, Hollywood Studios, awesome as always for Star Wars Weekends. Uh, we'll be back again next week, at least for one day. And uh, thanks for watching and sticking around with us. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button. And be sure to click the link for our Facebook page as well if you want to be kept up to date with pictures and additional information. Thanks. Bye.